Okay, we're just out here doing some prospecting. <coughs> Checking out an old, uh, rather new quarry. Um, searching for some mineralization. There's lots of uh, old mines in the area, so we're just uh, checking to see if any of this quartz here has any mineralization. So you can, occasional speck of uh, <coughs> pie right in there. So far nothing too extensive other than uh, some pyrite. Got a little bit of oxidization here. Doesn't really look like any uh, anything too good. A little bit more pie right there. So we found a quartz vein here, um, pretty big, but still not a lot of mineralization that we can see. We'll probably chase this for a little bit and see if we can pull off any samples that's got anything on it. Um, other than that, we'll head to um, another showing. So we found a little bit of uh, galena here, right up in there. But uh, still nothing too crazy. We'll pull a few more samples off and maybe send one in for testing. And then it's uh, off to the next showing. Okay, so we're just uh, taking a look at this small showing here. Uh, you got sulfides going through your, uh, your host rock here. Then you got disseminated. Uh, pyrite all throughout your host rock. Take a look at that. So, and then you have a solid, solid vein of uh, sulfites here. Um, we've had this tested, and there's some decent silver and and zinc in here, and a bit of lead. Um, it was basically nil for gold, but. Uh, yeah, we're going to pull some of this off and resample this area. Okay, so we're about 10 feet away from that uh, showing and uh, we've uncovered some some nice looking quartz here. Uh, I can see there's some chalcopyrite, a little bit of pyrite mineralization in there, so we're going to um, widen this and uh, see how big this quartz vein is and see how far it goes up and goes down. Um, it's about 10 feet up and 10 feet to the left of the uh, the vein of mineralization and the disseminated pyrite. So uh, hopefully this will have some good mineralization and I'll uh, post a couple pictures of the samples that we pull off after um, that we're going to be sending in for testing. So, uh, just back at the shop, and uh, these are some of the samples we pulled off. This is the first vein um, where there's pure sulfides. So, we're going to send this in for, uh, for testing and uh, see what comes out of this.
So, and then we, uh, about 10 feet to the left and then 10 feet up, we found a, uh, a vein of quartz and, uh, at the widest point, it's about, um, it's about a meter and a half wide and we chased it for about three or four meters and uh, we spent about an hour removing samples and uh, here's some of the samples that we uh, pulled off of there. You can see some calcopyrite in that. These are uh, pretty nice looking samples here. You can see lots of malachite staining in there. Some galena, calcopyrite, pyrite, salarite. So uh, both these veins are parallel to one of each other and um, we're going to be uh, most likely removing as much as we can from this one here. Um, looks like it's going to turn out to be a decent grade uh, based on just the look of it and um, the grade of the other uh, ore from previous mines. and. Uh, other ore on different properties that we have in the area. So the other properties we have, um, they have good gold, silver, copper, lead, um, there's some zinc, a little bit of cadmium, um, and occasionally we find some platinum. So I'll post a couple uh, stills here at the end and uh, you can see them in a closer look.